Hi, Frequency Friends. Uh, just really excited to be chatting to you just very briefly about some stuff God's been speaking to me about. Katya and I are in the States at the moment. We're just in a friend's apartment in Redding, California. We've been visiting with Bethel, looking forward to doing their Leaders Advance next week um, and just get some stuff put into us. Um, God's really been uh, speaking to me out of Luke chapter 11, out of the Our Father, um, in particular the bit where it talks about give us this day our daily bread. Um, you would know that Israel at that time uh, was waiting for the Messiah to come. The Bible says in Luke chapter 3 they were all in expectation. And the expectation was for Messiah who would come and bring in a new kingdom and that kingdom would bring with it the age of Shalom, the age of God's goodness, the age where everything that God intended is as it is meant to be. And that age would swallow up this present age, all of its affliction, all of its pain, all of its difficulty. Israel was expecting that to happen. And it's into this eschatological worldview that Jesus is talking to his disciples saying, when you pray, pray that God will give us our daily bread. They were expecting something. The thing about bread, the thing about daily bread is that for the Jewish mind, feasting was an eschatological moment. It was a moment, speaking of the end, breaking in now, it was a moment where we get to see the goodness of God breaking into our life. It was a moment that spoke of an ultimate feast, a feast that we will one day have with the Father, a feast that He will prepare. I love how in the Bible there are loads of moments of feasting. Feasting is so key to Jewish understanding of uh, the age of Shalom, the age of God's peace, the age of God's goodness breaking in. And so when Jesus says, give us this daily bread, he's not simply talking about what we need today. He's actually talking about uh, the feast that is to come. In fact, that particular phrase, daily, is a, a specific word that literally means give us what's coming tomorrow. In other words, what Jesus was saying is the feast that you prepared for us in the future we want to enter into that now. This whole text, this whole bit of scripture is written in the context of a, a, a end time view, of an eschatological view. And I love it because Jesus wants us to feast ultimately on the feast that is to come. There is a feast that he's prepared for us and we get to partake of that right now. And uh, one of the things that one of the preachers here said that has really challenged me is, why put off for tomorrow what we can have today? And the reality is that whilst we're expecting more and more of the kingdom to break in, and whilst we believe in the tension of the now and the not yet, there's a whole lot more that we can participate in. And in Jesus' own prayer, he's inviting us to feast on the goodness of God, to feast on what is to come tomorrow. And I want to encourage you, God wants you to enter into a space and into a place of feasting with him. Now, he doesn't just want to provide for your needs. He wants to provide from um, his kingdom, from the age to come right now. He wants that to break in. And, and particularly when you read Paul, you'll see that he often talks about this present age being overcome by the age that is to come. Uh, in particular, the book of Ephesians, um, he talks about how we get to enjoy some of the age to come right now. And I want to encourage you, God's got more for you. What you press in and, and enjoy that. It's not something you have to work for. It's not something that's hard. It's simply about learning to receive and expect his goodness to break in. Um, and, and my life has just begun to be changed as I've begun to not simply ask for what I can get today, not just my daily bread, but the bread which is to come tomorrow, the bread of the feast that we will one day enjoy with him. Not only that, it's the sense of feasting in him, and with him. When we understand the principle that Jesus is the bread of life, what we're doing is we're entering into participation with him when we eat. We're entering into a deep union with him. And I want to encourage you in your quiet time, in your times of prayer, won't you expect and believe God for the feast that is reserved tomorrow, that ultimate feast, the marriage supper of the Lamb, that we get to eat some of that right now? Sounds a lot like um, the book of Psalms, which says he prepares a table for us in the presence of our enemies. Uh, we just want to say we love you guys, and uh, we're praying for many of you who are partnering with us. It is such a good season to be alive. 
And uh, thank you so much for your prayers. Thank you so much for those of you who partner with us and pray for us. Uh, we're so excited. Uh, please keep your mailbox um, open because we'll be sending you an email soon telling you about some new developments that's happening in Frequency. Guys on the move and there's some amazing doors opening and uh, we just love what God's doing. Bless you guys. Thanks for listening to this. Trust it's encouraged you.